Hello, this is Satya from Robite, and I'm here to talk about the new plugin Aura. What exactly is Aura? Aura is a reimagination of the classic RadioWaves plugin for After Effects. Think of Aura like a procedural particle system, but instead of rendering small points all over the place, it creates vector-like shapes that change over time like the radio waves plugin. Now it's very simple and a lot of fun to play around. Let's go ahead and create a new composition and let's create a new solid. Let's go and apply RF. Now by default you can see that there are these circular shapes uh, that are created in 3D space. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new camera. As you can see, these waves, let's call them waves. These are 3D camera aware. And you have a single producer point. Right now it's at the center of the composition. You can change it, change the uh, position. And uh, you can also change the shape, right? By default, it's this uh, circular shape. You can uh, make it more like a polygon, and you can also make it a star, control the star depth, or you can increase the curvature. And you can uh, have more than four sides, for example, you can have 16 sides. Uh, let's zero out the curvature, turn off the star, and you're not bound to just use uh, the polygon. This is nice to have. But you can also use an After Effects mask, for example. Let's create a new mask here. And let's change the radio wave tape from polygon to mask. And make sure to select the mask. Now, if you have multiple masks, you can use all paths, but you only have one mask here, so we're just going to select the one mask. And you can use this uh, mass to create uh, waves in 3D space. Now you have a lot of settings here that you can control, but now let's get to the uh, basics first. There is this control here called frequency. What exactly is frequency? Frequency is the number of waves that the plugin generates per second. So the higher the number is, more number of waves that are generated in 3D space. And the lower it is, the less number of waves are generated. Now, Aura uh, really lets you crank this up really high. You can have really high frequency so that you can have really dense looking waves here. For example, you can crank this all the way to 100, 200. And you have this really dense looking structure and and it still renders pretty fast now once you start playing around you see it's uh, a lot more fun you can have a little bit of spin so that kind of waves are spun over time so everything happens here over time so the waves are born and then they gradually changed over time now you can set a start size. Right now, start size is zero because when, it, when the waves are born, they're of zero size, and when they're end of the lifespan, they're of the end size. So every setting here has a start and an end. For example, there's a start size and an end size, and there is a start thickness and an end thickness. And you can also have a color gradient that can be applied over time. Uh, it starts with the green, goes to this blue, and ends with this pinkish red. You can add more colors if you want, or remove them if you want, and you can sort of get the idea here. And there is also uh, this thing called fade out. So right now, everything just looks very uh, sharp and very hard edged. So if you add a bit of fade in and fade out, these kind of let you smooth out the ends a little bit so that waves look a lot more 
uh, organic and natural. And right now the frequency is really high. And if you uh, turn it down, you can start seeing individual waves, for example. And you can control the thickness. Uh, it starts at two and ends at maybe higher so that the lines get thicker over time if you want. And there is a few things that are very important. For example, the lifespan. What exactly is the lifespan? Lifespan is the number, uh, the time in seconds that each wave exists. So after they're born, a wave exists for, in this case, 10 seconds. If you increase this, uh, the lifespan ext gets extended a lot uh, later, so 20 seconds. So everything happens over a longer time span. Let's set this back to 10. And there is the velocity, how fast uh, do these waves move. The yeah, faster it is, the uh, faster waves move. Now, a lot of, the, a lot of this uh, depends, for example, you have a lot of uh, waves here that are moving really fast or you want to slow down there's this other thing you control too it's called the time factor time factor is how time internally uh, is calculated inside the effect unrelated to the composition so if you have the time factor uh, let's set this velocity back to 100 and if you want to speed this up or slow this down if you change the time factor everything happens a little faster so if you put it at two, internally the time runs at twice the speed. And if you want it to happen slower, you can set it to uh, 0.5 or anything less than one. So everything happens uh, a lot uh, so speed. Now you can keyframe this and you can actually stop at a certain point if you want and resume it later, kind of freezes the whole thing. And the other thing that's different from radio waves is you have a lot more things to play around here. And there's this thing called render quality. What is render quality? So by default, Aura renders everything a little bit noisy. That's, uh, that's expected because I think uh, the noise adds a little bit to the, uh, the style of the plugin. And, and the noise really works with this really uh, thin, um, less than one pixel uh, lines that can be drawn in high frequency renders. Um, so you can control the render, the higher it is, the less noisy the render becomes. Right now we are at eight, which is actually not that noisy. And if you put it to one, it gets a little more noisy. And if you put it to like a uh, hundred, then it's almost, you can't see any speck of noise. So adjust this render quality depending on the scene you have. And usually when you're working, you might wanna set this to a lower quality. Like by default it's eight, I think that's a good balance. And if you want a high quality render, uh, make sure to crank this up. And if you, if you have a camera, you can uh, use the depth of field. Uh, for example, just set the depth of field to on and make sure to turn on the depth of field and you have a nice uh, depth of field. And you can control the blur factor to crank up or crank down the depth of field irrespective of what you have in the camera, in the layer camera here. And that's uh, the basics of Aura. And hope you guys like Aura. And if you have any further questions or anything, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Thank you.